Hello viewers, welcome to Selenium Web Driver videos. Myself Uday. In this video, I would like to demonstrate about how to select a value from drop down list box. So for this, I have an example. All right, so where you can see this is a drop down list box, and this list box have multiple options like select a car, Benji, Benji A class, BMW X3, Audi A4. Porsche, Rolls Royce, and Bugatti. All right. This is the HTML representation for the above HTML page where this list box can be identified with ID. All right. And this list box have all these options where each option represents one web element. As you can see from this, and each option has a value which is different from the actual text contained in that option as you can see from this the value for this is bmw but the actual text is bmw x3 all right so the same values will be displayed in this list box all right so in this example i would like to demonstrate about how to select specific values and how to deselect it all right so as usual i am creating a firefox driver instance i am putting some implicit weight until the page uh, this implicit weight uh, is to make sure that all the web elements in that page got loaded after that i am navigating to this html page all right after that i am identifying this drop down list box using identifier which i have specified here all right so after that i am creating an instance of select select all right so uh, by creating this instance for this instance i am providing whatever object which i have the drop down list box object which i have created earlier all right there are many other ways that you can select a list box but uh, creating an object of select uh, in sense we can use many other functionalities like you can you know where we can find the size and where we can select whatever the option that you want all right that is the reason the most preferred way to use with like you know to work with drop down list boxes by creating a select object instance all right for example in this what i would like to do here is i would like to know what uh, how many options available in this all right as you can see this is my first option second third fourth fifth sixth seven there are seven options which are existing in this drop down list box okay to get that count what i'm doing here is i am using select whatever the object which i have created here i am using that object dot get, get options dot size get options return you the list of web elements like all the options which are existing in here all right that size method will return you the number of options in that drop down list box all right so here i would like to demonstrate the different method that we can uh, use uh, to select a you know uh, select these option values you can use uh, uh, select by visible text where you need to specify the entire text which is which is existing in this option you cannot just use rd whereas you need to specify the entire text here if you specify just rd it will return you an error but if you specify the entire text then it will select it, select that that option value all right there is an another way called uh, we can use select by value as you can see this option has a value right so for example if you want to select this bmw x3 by specifying just value you have to use this method select by value where you need to just specify this value okay so that is another way and you can also select an option using index all right you, all these list box have like you know zero index it starts with a zero index this is my zero index this is my first element second third fourth fifth and sixth all right if i specify like select by index five what it will select is zero one two three four five this value will this option will be selected here all right so so 
so far uh, let me execute this and uh, you know i will execute one by one all right so let me show you whether it is selecting the right values or not just give me a second as you can see firefox instance launch navigated to get the url and selected rda4 now all right in a similar way what you can do is you can use select by value method you can select the bmw because i'm just specifying this value bmw3 what does it mean is it will select bmw x3 all right so let me demonstrate you that We'll start the Firefox instance and we'll navigate to that URL as you can see which has selected the BMW X3. Alright. So now the other way is by specifying the index of that option. Right? As you can see by specifying this index file now you should select the right value. As you can see, this is my fifth option existing in that list box. All right, that is how I will uh, we can select different ways using the instance of this select. All right, now I would like to know what value has been selected in some this list box. All right, so once I have this instance, all right the dot get first selected option what it will return you is the whatever the value that is selected from that list box it will return you that web element all right dot get text method will retrieve the text which is associated in that option all right now what it should print here is we should print the our own swipe goes now So it starts the Firefox instance and we'll navigate to that URL and rolls as post got selected which prints the whatever the value that is selected in here. Alright. So uh, there are like you know some uh, some instances where this list box can select multiple values if it have this multiple attribute which is selected to this drop down list box then as you can see here from this example which here you can select multiple values if that has set like you know that add uh, multiple attributes set to that drop down list box then you can select multiple values if that doesn't exist where you can select only one list box value all right and i'm closing all these instances so mm, now i'm selecting all these uh, like you know different options where i'm selecting rd bmw and rolls royce all right I would like to print out all the options which are selected here all right so for that what i am doing here is i am using this select object dot get all selected options which will retrieve you the list of all the options which are selected okay so once i have this list of object i am just iterating in a for loop to print out what are the options as you can see this is a web element after that i am using get text method which will print the text associated in that option all right so let me execute it java application as you can see multiple options got selected which has printed all the options which are selected all right that's how we can select multiple options and get the list of all the options which are selected all right so now 
so how can i deselect any one of these options values there are two like you know by using deselect by visible text value where we can select any specific option value or deselect all which will deselect all the options which are selected previously all right so uh, let me demonstrate you this method now and after that i will go for the i will demonstrate the next method as you can see when i execute it here is everything fine yes it looks good i'm just executing it it will select all these three options above and after that it deselects bmw x3 firefox instance started navigated to the url first it has selected all these three options and after that it has deselected it all right so now what i would like to do is i would like to demonstrate deselecting all these option values all right so to demonstrate that i have used deselect all where whatever the already existing selected options those options will be deselected now as you can see firefox instance started it has selected all these options and later by using deselect all it has deselected all the options all right so uh, so is it mandatory that do i need to create uh, this uh, select object no it this is the most convenient way to work with any of these drop down list boxes but there is an other way around like you know without creating this uh, a select object also we can select a value whatever the object that is existing here first uh, okay so for example say what i would like to do here is i would like to select based on specific text value i am first identifying this object drop down list box after that i am using option of text which is equal to bmw so which will return you the pebbleman once i once i got my pebbleman i'm just clicking on it which will select the bmw x3 all right let me demonstrate you that as you can see firefox is started navigated to the url and has selected bmw x3 all right so this is an and where like you know there are some other uh, xpaths where you can create that web element and use dot click method which will select the specific option all right so that's how like you know if you can if you create a select object these are the three different methods we can use to select an option and in order to get what are the selected options you need to use get all selected options and once you have that web element dot get text will return you the actual text of that option all right we can deselect the already selected options by using deselect by visible text or deselect all which will deselect all the options which were selected earlier the other way around to select any option is by using like you know using some x path after that you can use the click method to select the appropriate option text all right so that's all in this video thanks watching for this video please leave your comments about this video thank you